Looking at number seven out of nine, two, researchers from the University of British Columbia conducted trials to investigate the effects of color on creativity. Subjects with a red background were asked to think of creative uses for a brick. Other subjects were given a blue background and were given the same task. Responses were scored by a panel of judges and results from scores of creativity are given below. Higher scores correspond to more creativity. The researchers make the claim that blue enhances performance on a creative task. So there is our claim, but something else that we need to know in order to address this claim is what they told us right there. So they're letting us know that the scale that they're working with the higher the score, the greater the creativity. So now when we go to write out the claim here, so they mention, you know, in the claim, they only mention blue. So that is why I am going to do the mean of blue. And let's see, claim that blue enhances creativity. So if blue doesn't enhance creativity, we should see higher scores with blue than we see with red. So I went with blue first as my sample one here, even though elsewhere they mentioned red first. So, you know, so what I did here is this is with blue as sample one. If you wanted to put red as sample one, then your claim would be the mean of red would be less than the mean of blue. It's going to work out, it's going to play out the same way. But as I've said, whatever choice we make is fine, we just need to stick with it. So the opposite case for, based on my choice here is that the mean of blue is less than or equal to the mean of red. We can come over here, write our null and alternate hypotheses. And again, if I put blue first, I have to continue to put blue first. If I put red second, I have to continue to put red second. Equal is always between them in the null, and the strict inequality is be between them in the alternate. Put the R, put the S, and once again, it is the S that represents the claim. Well, it's the alternate hypothesis that represents the claim. So we note the S. So when it comes time to writing the conclusion with respect to the claim, we'll talk about whether or not we can support the claim. The way that we set this up, this is a right tail test. you would have listed red first, this would have ended up being a left tail test. They don't give us a value of alpha. If they don't give you a value of alpha, just go with 0 0.05. That is our default. And Since they've already put this in a nice table, I'm just going to go ahead and label which one is which. And I made blue my sample one and red my sample two based on how I set this up. So I've got to stick with that in the setup here. Rule of rejection. We will reject the null hypothesis if the p-value is less than or equal to whatever our alpha is. And again, if they omit alpha, if they omit a significance level, just use 0 0.05. That is our default value for this. Our test statistic will be T. If you don't know, know that ahead of time, Statisk will be nice enough to tell you. And then also I'm setting up my p-value here so it falls underneath the significance level in the rule of rejection. So now let's head on over to Statdisk. Now, in the setup of the problem, so hypothesis testing, we're testing means here. Our samples are independent. There's 
there's a group of people who had blue, there's a group of people that had red, and there's nothing that they've told us to let us believe that person one of the blue has anything at all to do with person one of the red. And again, they gave us summary data, which is a Christmas gift telling us that this is gonna be the two independent samples of the mean. So this is right tail, pick the greater than, significance, we're gonna leave the 0 0.05. Our blue, there is 36 in the blue. 3.97 was the sample mean for the blue and 0 0.63 was the sample standard deviation for the blue. Red, there was 35 in the group with a sample mean of 3.39 and a sample standard deviation of 0 0.97. And again, in terms of method of analysis, since they didn't explicitly tell us to do anything different here, we're gonna leave it with unequal variances, no pool. So we can hit evaluate and we can hit plot. When we take a look at the plot, we see the blue is off in the tail beyond the red. So that's going to give us an indication here that we're going to end up rejecting the Null hypothesis, let's head back here. And our T value here is 2.979. Our P value is 0 0.0021. So even if we would have went with the strictest alpha the significance level that we've been seeing, which is 0 0.01, we would have still ended up rejecting in this case. And yep, I gave it away. Since the p-value is less than the significance value, we do indeed reject the null hypothesis, which means that we have sufficient evidence to we mark the S there, S is for support. The claim that, and then finish this up with word for word what the claim was. Blue enhances performance on a creative task. So, gee, would it be appropriate to recommend a color to enhance creativity? Well, we concluded that we had the evidence to support the idea that blue enhances performance on a creative task so our answer here is going to be yes. And if we wanted to go one step further, we would recommend blue over red. If you're going to go beyond the yes and recommend blue, we only tested blue against red. So we don't know if blue is better than yellow, if blue is going to enhance performance more than green, more than purple, more than pink, more than anything else under the rainbow and beyond. We only compared blue versus red. So when it comes to making our recommendation, we should restrict our recommendation to what we actually worked with. Going back to the confidence interval, when we're looking at the confidence interval, it doesn't contain zero. It's strictly positive, so that is an indication that these two means are not the same. And since both are positive, positive happens when the mean of the first would be greater than the mean of the second. That's how you end up with positive values. And again, this is the exact same thing that we concluded through the steps of the 
hypothesis test.